Epiphany 1, Wednesday. God's people, our God. Amen. I will say to those who are not my people, You are my people. And they shall say, You are my God. Hosea 2, verse 23b. Dear Redeemed, God has revealed to us, through Hosea the Old Testament prophet, that there would be those who were not the physical descendants of Abraham who would become his children. The opposite is true as well. Many of those who are the physical descendants of Abraham will no longer be the children of God. They will be lo-ami, which means not my people, Hosea 1.9. Why will these two situations occur? The answer is simple and yet profound. Faith in Jesus and unbelief in Jesus. Those whom the Lord calls his people will reply in the confession of faith, You are my God. The others will reject Jesus and say, You are not my God. This is a reality that we behold taking place time and again, particularly as we continue to follow Christ and the events of his life in this world on our behalf as revealed in the Bible. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1, verses 10 through 14. The natural inclination of man, even after hearing the good news of the Savior, is to turn the gospel into law. One example of this is the claim by many that, in order to become a Christian, one must receive Jesus into one's heart or make a decision for Christ. Simply put, this is a man-made practice based on false doctrine. Perhaps the question comes to mind, how does one become a Christian? Or what does it mean when the Bible states that as many as received him? The scriptures speak of people being born of God. We have experienced the first birth, which is a birth into this world and unto death. We need a second birth. Just as no one made a decision to be born into this world, so no one made a decision to be born of God. To receive him means, as the Bible states, to receive life, eternal life. To become a child of God is gospel, not law. Just as to believe in Jesus and on his name is God's activity, not man's. Thus, the Christian, as a fruit of faith, may confess the truth, I believe that I cannot by my own reason or strength, by my own will of the flesh, or by my own will of the mind, or conscious decision, or by my own works or choosing, or by the law of God or commands of man, be born again. That is, believe in Jesus Christ my Lord or come to him, but the Holy Ghost has called me by the gospel. The Apostle Paul wrote the gospel truth. No one is able to say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 12, 3. Through Hosea, the Lord declared his work in conversion like this, I will say to those who were not my people, you are my people. The church and each child of God therein is now able to reply in a confession of the faith as it is written and promised, you are my God. Indeed, through faith, we behold his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Grant, I beg you, Almighty God, that the light of your gospel may go forth into the world, enlightening lost souls, and bringing them into your kingdom, and being a part of your people. May they, along with the rest of your church, confess the blessed truth that you are our God. Continue to abide in and establish our hearts, that we, who have been born again by your grace and truth, may be certain of the forgiveness of all our sins and of our place in paradise. Amen. Hymn number 315. Blessed are the sons of God, 
They are bought with Christ's own blood. They are ransomed from the grave. Life eternal they shall have. With them numbered may we be, here and in eternity. They are justified by grace. They enjoy the Savior's peace. All their sins are washed away. They shall stand in God's great day. With them numbered may we be, here and in eternity. They are lights upon the earth, children of a heavenly birth. One with God, with Jesus one, glory is in them begun. With them numbered may we be, here and in eternity. Thank you.